I'm about to build a high converting landing page using Claude and WordPress together. We'll go from blank page to fully finished design on my own website for a live page in a matter of minutes. And this is something that an agency might charge you thousands for or take weeks and weeks to actually deliver. So this is my website, elliotprince.com. Like it's fine. It's just a pretty simple WordPress site that I use for running my freelance business. I've got an SEO page as well, which offers my SEO services. I'm just not that happy with it. It needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of improvement to improve conversions. And usually I would spend hours angsting and trying to build and write the copy and make it look good. But I now have a way that I can integrate Claude with WordPress to make this a ton easier. I've just quickly written this prompt, but actually any prompts you see in my videos, they're usually in my SEO and marketing mega prompt chest that you can get here. There's a free link in the description. This thing's got nearly over a hundred prompts in here to help you in all sorts of marketing areas of your business. But essentially the prompt we've got today is you're a world-class landing page designer and developer. I need to create a new landing page for my SEO services you know, it explains a bit about my services. I'm going to give you the HTML of a page on my website. So you already have an idea of the design and colors. I'm not going to read it verbatim, but you can see the prompt on screen here for you. Um, and just do you understand? I just want to tee up Claude to actually get it started on the project we're working on. So once we've teed up Claude, we actually want to go onto our website and find that we're just going to use the home page here. We're actually going to right click and hit view page source. This is going to bring up all the code of your website that we can start using within Claude. So we're going to take all of this and we're going to go back and we're going to paste it into Claude. Now this is going to give it the reference of how we want it to build it a little bit. So it understands the colors and the information on our website. So it doesn't go completely rogue and just do something completely off brand or different to what we've already got. Now I'm also going to add in some of the text from my S SEO consultancy page just to give it a bit of context. So I'll tell it this as well. Attached is the HTML of an example page for inspiration and text about my SEO consultancy. So we can start running this process and it's actually going to go and start building the page for us. You can see it's decided to give some critical feedback, give some opinion on how we can improve conversions on the page and it's off and coding for us. Now over on WordPress, I need to set a couple of things up to make sure this is ready. So we're going to add a new page here and let's add a quick title SEO consultant, for example. Um, down here, if you're used to using WordPress, you will have all your SEO settings in things like Yoast. So you can set them up as well as you go. Um, we won't do that right now. But what we actually want to do in here is actually add a specific block. We want to hit forward slash and then type in HTML and get the custom HTML block, because this is where our code is actually going to sit and start running on our website. Now back over on Claude, we can see that we've actually finished coding up our page, we could publish this or check the design out a little more make some tweaks but for the for this video we'll copy that we'll put it straight into our wordpress here hit save we could preview again as well but i just want to show you what the live page might look like off the bat we can hit view and look boom we've got our live landing page this is so much better already we've got these cool little like effects we've got okay we, there's a little these floating boxes here could maybe be better positioned like they're a bit not seeable but you can see we can go back to claude and say hey can we tweak this around we've got everything we need. We've got our CTA button, which actually works back down to the form because I'd already given it actual code from our website. It's managed to pull in the right information from our form. So that's going to all start working. We've got my little boxes here. We could ask it to center align some of these buttons, like fair enough, they're a bit out of order. And some of these things are slightly out of kilter. But again, we can just go back and ask Claude to just fix those little things. What's cool as well, it should, I'd imagine, be mobile. Yeah, as well. So it should work on mobile as well nicely. Actually, probably works a little bit better on mobile um, as well. So like in seconds, we've got a much better landing page that now we can just go back to Claude, make a couple of tweaks, but hit publish. We can basically, this is live and published already, which is so cool. Now, if you are struggling a little bit or it's not rendering properly, one of the things you can actually do as well, if we go back to our edit page, I originally pulled the original page source, but one of the things I find easier as well is actually going if you've got a page, going to the code editor on the right here and just getting the page, the original WordPress page that you might have that you want to sort of reflect how your website's built, actually just copy that page rather than the page source and put that into Claude for some extra reference as to how all your code is built, whether you're using the Gutenberg block editor or Generate Press or even tools like Elementor or Divi, you can take all that code and put it in for extra reference for Claude to build. So we could go back into Claude and say, this looks great. The only thing is the tags like the problem and ready and ready to get started. 
are not readable and can they be center aligned plus the tags floating tags in the hero area sit behind the text and objects so are hard to see slash read so we can go again give it back these problems and it'll go and fix them up for us basically but it's as easy as that put the information into claude ask it to build the page and put it into the html section of your wordpress page and boom you've got a brand new wordpress landing page on your website easy